Scores of students gather outside the protection of civilian sites near the United Nations base in Juba. Loaded in buses, these students from five primary schools in the protection site wait to be transported to the examination center, where they will sit their first end of primary examinations. These 640 students are joining 41,000 other children across South Sudan, hoping to pass the exams so that they can transition from primary to secondary school. Peacekeepers from the UN mission in South Sudan are escorting the students to ensure safe passage from the POC site to the exam halls. Nerves and excitement are running high as students do last-minute revision while others try to relax. 23-year-old Nyama Tang Muang is among the students writing. She arrived at the POC site with her husband, pregnant with her first child, when she was just 19. After four years of hard work as a student at Hope Primary School in the UN Protection Site, she's ready to take her first exam in religious studies. She's confident she will do well. You no know, exam was easy. So we have learned, our teacher told us and teach, teach us. Then we fill our exam. We were okay and no problem. Under the protection of the UN police, she looks forward to coming back to the exam center to take the remaining English, Math, Science and Social Sciences exam. The UN police were protected, protected us, so we are safe, no problem. We were fearing, but now no one can fear again. The Ministry of Education is working closely with UNMIS to support the displaced children so that they too can have an equal opportunity. We also worked with the World Food Programme, with the uh, UN mission in South Sudan. Uh, they were the ones who were escorting the children from the POC to, uh, to the exam centre. We have also our uh, local police. Uh, we have the state uh, minister who is seated uh, with me here. Uh, who provided two schools uh, last time for secondary students to sit the exams. This time round, they provided this government school uh, also for uh, the children, 600 children from the POC to do the exams. So uh, it, it, is, it is in our interest to ensure all children uh, have access to examinations. 57 UN police guard the exam center and ensure that all the students return to the POC safely exams and maybe go forward with their uh, their education and maybe one day they will succeed of, of, at having a better life for themselves. For Nyamo, now a mother of two boys, these exams are only the beginning. When I grow up I want to be a midwife. Midwife is good because if you become a midwife you can serve the community. Maybe if you are in the area and there is some mothers want to deliver, they can come and call you and you can able to help them. For Nyamal and others, these exams offer an opportunity for a brighter future and a brighter South Sudan.